Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. It feels so surreal to be picking the camera up today because as you can probably tell from the title, this is the first moving vlog back and it's because today is Friday the 22nd and Brad and I are literally just about to get in the car and go and pick up our keys to the new house. It feels really weird to finally say that out loud. It's been such a process. It's been around three months this has taken us to actually get to this point of buying a house but I'm going to go into the kind of complications and the issues that we faced along the way with you guys throughout these moving vlogs but right now I want to focus on the positives and like I say right now we're about to go and pick up the keys so of course I'm going to take you guys with me I want to document this whole thing we're literally going to go and grab them now and head straight to the house I want to film a empty house tour which is why I look like this for moving I'm not going to look like this especially because it's literally about 26 degree heat right now so it's not the best weather to be moving in yeah for the rest of the moving process and probably for the rest of the vlogs don't expect me to look like this because it's just not realistic but like I say because I want to film the empty house tour I thought I'd make a bit of an effort so we're gonna head there film that and then we're gonna start moving things over I guess we very luckily have a family member that has a van that we can borrow so we're gonna do that all over the weekend you guys would have already seen the house tour video because that is the first video I'm gonna put out so I hope you like it I mean it feels weird because right now I haven't actually filmed it yet but yeah you guys would have already seen that so let me know your thoughts down below in the comments but like I say right now we're gonna head to the estate agent so of course you guys are going to come with me i'm just going to pick up the camera as and when i can so please just bear with me because obviously there is a lot to sort out there is so much to do but i'll keep you guys updated as much as possible okay this is literally the most horrendous lighting and i've just turned the aircon off to film this clip so i'm about to start sweating absolute buckets but we've just pulled into town brad has literally just gone to the estate agents to pick up the keys i can't believe this is happening and i haven't gone with him only because it's not like an official thing so obviously with everything going on right now they're literally just passing him the keys through the window I don't think they're even passing them to him. I think they'll probably be in an envelope that they have to leave on the floor and then you pick them up. So it's just like not obviously your normal kind of picking up your keys for your new house but it's still happening nevertheless so i'm super excited like i just mentioned to you guys that we're gonna get these head straight to the house film the house tour and then we're gonna go from there really i'm not sure if we're gonna actually move loads of stuff over today because we don't get the van until tomorrow so i'm not sure if we can even get a bed over today so i don't know if we'll stay there tonight we might stay back at my mum and dad's we will see i'm literally now sweating so much so i'll get back to you when we actually have the keys in our hand <laughs> So we're in. If you guys would have already seen the house tour, I've literally just finished filming it. If you can hear the hoover, it's because Brian is hoovering up the literally hundreds of dead flies that are currently living in this house. It's not actually been lived in for over a year. So it means that a lot of other things have started living in here, which is kind of disgusting, but that is our first job. It's just kind of clearing everything up. And then I think we're gonna aim to get at least a couple of things over tonight. Not gonna lie, I'm most looking forward to a Chinese takeaway at the end of this. But like I say, we are now in the house. It feels very surreal to be here, like putting up on the drive and actually knowing that we own this place is literally insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed the house tour. I'm so glad that I can finally share it with you. But for right now, I'm gonna go and help Brad clean up a few things. And then I'll pick you guys up when I have something more interesting to show you. So casually keep diving into concrete. So bittersweet. Huh? Keep losing sleep while driving in the backseat. What's left of me? Drowning in what feels just like an ocean. Negativity is getting closer. Keep the heat when it gets colder, you know Sometimes everything just gets hard Sometimes everything just gets harder Feeling like I'm missing some parts Days just keep on getting much darker Even when I'm down in the lower I remember what you were Okay, so there's not really too much to update you guys on so far. We've literally just got back from my mum and dad's house. We just popped there quickly to go and get some cleaning stuff because this place just needs a bit of a freshen up. It's definitely not like dirty. It could be in a worse state. Huh? What'd you say? Oh, gloves. Brad just needed something, but it definitely could be in a worse state, but obviously we want to make it feel super clean in here before we start moving anything in. I honestly, guys, cannot go over the amount of spiders in this place. It's really starting to freak me out. Like there's a massive dead one down there. <sighs> we're definitely not going to be sleeping here tonight. That is one big thing because we need the van obviously to bring the bed over and we're not actually going to get the van until tomorrow. So we're just going to stay back at mom and dad's this evening. We're going to have some Chinese here though because obviously we want to spend our first night here and have a bottle of Prosecco and settle in a little bit. 
But yeah, tomorrow will be the day where we're literally just moving everything across. So for right now, I'm gonna start cleaning. I'm literally just gonna like wipe down all of the skirting boards and everything like that. Also, we need to recharge the hoover because we need to hoover the rest of the carpet. And yeah, I guess today is literally just gonna be freshening up the place. And then tomorrow will be the day where everything properly starts in terms of moving our stuff over. Also, I thought I'd just quickly try and show you exactly how big this room is because I feel like this is one of the rooms that's going to change the most and we have like the most plans for it. Definitely in terms of the bifold doors that are going to go across this wall. But we also want like a massive sofa in here. We want to change this centerpiece completely. So we want to rip out that fireplace and add like a new bigger one in. And then also we're going to mount the TV on that wall. But I'm going to go and stand over there and you guys can see exactly how much space we have to play with. This is how big the room is, so it's kind of crazy, but it's so good because obviously means we can add whatever we want into it. So I'm excited about this. This is definitely one of the rooms that I have the most Pinterest pins for on my page because yeah, we just have so many ideas and I'm really looking forward to renovating this space, but I'm going to stop rambling. I just thought I'd show you guys that, but yeah, I'm going to get on with cleaning. So I'll pick you guys back up when I have something to say, really. <laughs> it's now the next morning. As you can probably tell, we stayed at mum and dad's last night. I think I mentioned to you guys anyway, but we obviously couldn't get the bed over yesterday. So that's why we came back here to sleep. But as of this evening, hopefully we're going to be fully in and we're going to be sleeping there from now on. Like we're going to fully move in today because we get the van. I think it's coming in about half an hour. I'm going to head over to the house and start cleaning because we didn't really get around to doing much cleaning yesterday i'm not gonna lie so i still need to do that so if you can hear the birds by the way you're literally balanced on my windowsill but i thought i'd just say good morning and sorry that i didn't really vlog too much yesterday obviously it was just all a bit surreal and we just enjoyed our evening with a glass of champagne and it was honestly so lovely it's just so surreal to finally be in like house buying is such a long process and of course everything pays off in the end we now finally have the house and yeah I'm just really happy but of course i'm going to take you guys with me today so like i say i'm going to head over to the house do some cleaning so this vlog specifically will probably include a load of cleaning and then i will film a load of the process of us like moving everything in we need to build the beds and everything there is so much to do like the list is honestly endless but hopefully as of this evening we're going to have most of our stuff there and we can properly move in the biggest thing i need to sort out is my clothes like i literally just have clothes everywhere i also at some point need to get everything back up on my depop i've had so many questions about that and i promise guys it will be coming soon but i've just been so busy i've literally not even had time to think about it so i promise i will get around to that but yeah sorting clothes is something i think i want to do today i'm going to fill those wardrobes and just get everything in just so we're then ready for the weeks ahead brad has got this week off actually he has been working at home the whole time so he's not been followed or anything he's just been able to continue working online but he has taken this week completely off so he can like help us move and stuff and it means it's not just me doing it which is so much better but yeah i feel like that's all i have to update you on this morning i'm wearing this really cute little set from urban outfitters it's this brand which i can never pronounce so i'll link this down below and i'll also link down below what i was wearing yesterday Day. I was wearing like a champion huge baggy jumper that was also from Urban Outfitters actually but yeah I thought it was really cute and perfect moving attire because it's not that hot today it's very windy though which is kind of annoying because we tried to sort out a bit of the garden yesterday but the leaves are just like blowing everywhere so I think we're gonna wait until it's a lot less windy to do that but anyway I'm completely rambling to you guys now I'm gonna get myself sorted and head over to the house in just a sec and I'll probably catch up with you guys once I'm there also I posted the picture of me and Brad standing outside the house this morning and the love that you guys have given it honestly blows me away I'm literally so grateful for you guys but thank you so much for liking and commenting on this little picture still can't believe we've bought a house like honestly what the hell okay so we've literally just got back to the house we've bought a van load of stuff over already so we're gonna move the furniture just into the room so we're gonna leave it all like in the middle of the room so we can paint the walls later because we don't have paint or anything yet we need to go and get that but we also just popped to the shops to grab some essentials like bacon sandwiches and milk and eggs and stuff like that and of course tea and coffee so i'm just going to put all of that stuff away and i also bought some stuff to clean the dishwasher because it kind of smells i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna put that on now and i'm just gonna put you guys on a few time lapses so you can see what i'm up to silent treatment in your car Baby, we don't need to talk Sorry if I'm making this hard Now I'm just wondering where we are I don't wanna face the consequences But baby, yeah, you know I hate second guessing I'm just wondering where we are I'm Drifting into space, keep driving on the freeway
I'm so sorry that I haven't spoken to you in a while. It is now a lot later in the day. I think it's around half seven or something ridiculous like that. Honestly, today has just flown by. We've done so much in the house. We've got so many boxes unpacked, which I'm so glad about because when you first bring everything into the house, it just feels so overwhelming. Like there is so much stuff and you don't realize how much stuff you have until it's literally put in front of you. So yeah, I was a little bit worried that we weren't gonna get as much done today, but we have. Brad has been in the garden literally all day, bless him. I think he's got a newfound little hobby there. So he has been sorting that out, which is really good because it gets a start on that. But like I say, I've just been unpacking boxes. I have more or less finished the kitchen. I've got everything kind of in its place. I'll take you guys down there and show you a bit more tomorrow. But basically the kitchen is just so impractical. Like the way it's all set up, the way it's laid out, the cupboard space and everything is just, really oddly laid out like i don't know how the couple used it before but maybe it's just something that we're not used to but it just feels like a really different way of designing a kitchen so i'm not gonna lie i'm definitely looking forward to renovating that room but yeah i'm gonna have some dinner tonight i'm just gonna take it easy i think i will pick you guys back up in the morning and show you a little update of what we've done i am currently in my office which makes me so happy because i have already got three pieces of furniture in here so i've got my desk and i managed to get my mirror up here and also my dressing table and guys, there is so much space in here. Like I have loads of room to play with, which is literally amazing. So I think I'm going to set up a filming background around this area. Let me give you a little tour actually. Okay, so just from the window, I've put my desk here. I was going to put it facing out the window, but I think I prefer it against the wall. And also it gives me a lot more space this side to be able to create a whole filming space. So yeah, that is why I've decided to put it over here for now. But then following on from that, we have my mirror here. This is a full length mirror that I've had literally since we lived at mum and dad's. It used to be their old mirror. And I think... They got it from a website which I literally can't remember the name of, but it's like a version of Groupon or something. So it was super inexpensive for what it is, but I am gonna leave William Wood's mirrors linked down below in the description because if you want a design exactly like this one, they have very, very similar ones. So I'll leave that linked if you are looking for a mirror of this sort. But I've literally just put that here with a little rug at the bottom and then my dressing table I've literally just put here. I'm definitely gonna be moving this room around a lot to try and find the right format that works in terms of like filming and a workspace and everything. But like I say, I'm thinking of doing a filming background in this corner corner and I think I mentioned this in the house tour but I am going to get a bed for this room my camera I think I need to get a new one because it keeps going out of focus it's really stressed me out but anyway that's probably last on the list right now but yeah I'm going to get a bed for this room and it's going to be like a cream color so I'm really looking forward to showing you guys the Pinterest boards that I have for this room because I have literally so many ideas and I just need to kind of figure out exactly what I want to buy to make those visions come to life I guess so yeah I'm going to have a bed in here I think I'm going to put it right in that corner so it is like fully out the way and doesn't really intrude on the room but obviously Obviously is still practical if we have people staying over so yeah that is a little update for this evening like i said i will pick you guys up in the morning and i'll show you a lot more of what we've done downstairs i feel like we've done the lounge the most like the sofa's in i've put a lampshade up and i feel like that's about as far as i've got but it looks the most put together room so far at least but definitely for just one day of moving in i feel like we've made good progress but right now i'm gonna go and get some dinner we're probably gonna chill in front of the tv tonight so i will speak to you in the morning when i have some more to show you
guys, I think it's honestly been a day or two since I last properly checked in with you. We have literally just been cracking on. I know I've been so, so bad at vlogging this move so far, but there is still so much to do that I don't feel too bad because there is still a lot that you guys are gonna see, trust me. I am gonna do a little update in the next video because I do feel like there is quite a lot in this vlog of us kind of moving everything in and getting the furniture set up and everything. So I will, of course, do a big kind of house tour update for you guys very, very soon. But for now, I thought I would just check in, tell you guys what we've kind of been up to whilst I haven't necessarily been picking up the camera honestly it's not been that exciting we've started painting the lounge which you guys will see in just a minute I did film a couple of time lapses so I'll insert them so you can see exactly what we've been doing of course if you guys have seen the house tour you'll know that in the lounge before there was like this mint green color which like I said is probably someone's vibe and a lot of people might really like it but it's just not really us like if you see my last moving vlogs and my kind of home style videos you'll know that I am pretty plain when it comes to colors I like everything to be more or less like either white or some tone of grey. I just like neutrals because I feel like you can then add to that with the things that you put in the room and it's a lot easier to pair different colours with. So we decided to go for a kind of off-white colour on the walls in the lounge. Brad picked it up from B&Q the other day. It is literally a Dulux paint. The thing is I never really know where to go with paints. Like I don't really know whether to spend the money for something like Fire and Ball, which is so expensive, but I've heard really good things about it. With this Dulux one, it's great, but because we are covering up like an actual color on the wall, it has meant that we need about three layers. So it is taking some time. It is definitely a process, but it's just something different to do. Like, honestly, we started painting the lounge day two of us moving in because I just got kind of bored of putting things in the cupboard, I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, that is why we have decided to do that. But like I say, on the walls, we've gone for an off-white color and then we're gonna keep the ceiling white. I was gonna do the whole room white, but I just feel like sometimes it can be a little bit cold. I definitely wanted to go for something that had a little bit more warmth to it. So that is why we went for the Dulux White Jasmine paint. If you are wondering what the name is, that is it. I will show you guys that room in depth in the next moving vlog where I do like a whole update of the house. But for right now, I'm still trying to get my kind of filming room sorted. We have loads of toiletries, all my makeup, like just so much stuff in the back here, which I've tried to hide from you guys, but it's not working. There's just stuff everywhere in this house. So right now I'm just gonna do a couple more time lapses and I'm gonna sort this stuff out in the room i just want to put my makeup in my vanity because i actually need to film a couple of videos this week i'm trying to keep on top of uploads for you guys and keep my content going but obviously i'm moving house there is so much to do in terms of that i'm trying to make these vlogs as well so yeah i just want to say thank you for your patience and bearing with me at this time obviously i think i said before in this vlog but if you guys have been before you'll know that it is literally such a process and you are literally just go, go, go all the time. So that is me right now, but I do want to keep on top of the videos for you guys. If I get my makeup sorted, I feel like I'll then be a lot more prepared to just film in the week. I'll be more than happy with that. So that is what I'm going to do now. Like I said, I'll set you guys up on a time lapse and you can see how I kind of organize everything. Also, if you hear any screaming kids, we've kind of met our neighbors, but they are in the house right at the end. And yeah, they have little kids playing in the garden, which is actually so nice to hear because we're kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I do like the fact that we can still here like civilization and other people anyway i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna get to organizing my dressing table also really quick little update in here because i know i showed you guys this room the other day but i have moved my desk from this wall where my mirror and my dressing table are on this side i've moved it from this wall over to the opposite one so i am still sat next to the window so i get the light and i can kind of look out onto the garden but it fits so much better this side so you may have noticed that when i had it pushed up against the other wall the edge of the desk was kind of hitting the window seat so this is just so much better and also it does give me a really good space this side to still be able to set up like a proper filming background like it's literally the same amount of space and honestly I just need to brainstorm some ideas as to what to kind of put in my background so I will of course keep you guys updated on my thoughts on that and what I kind of come up with but now I really am going to get on with putting my makeup into these drawers with 
of days since I've probably caught up with you and I've probably vlogged like a full day of us moving in but honestly we've been taking this process so slowly like we've been in here I think this might be day four or five and we have done quite a lot don't get me wrong but also we aren't just like in a rush to do anything and I think it's because we know we now own this place and we've literally got like all the time in the world so it's so nice to know that and it's actually been really nice to just take it a lot slower really. Brad is off work this week which has been good obviously to be able to help out with the house but We've also had a nice balance of like doing things for the house and spending some time together because he's been really busy at the moment and he's going to be even busier when he goes back. So I just haven't really picked up the camera for a couple of days, but I actually have quite a lot to show you guys as well. I've picked up a few things from the house. We went to home base and B&Q yesterday. We got some more paint for downstairs for the lounge, which I will show you guys in today's vlog how we've got on with that. And I also managed to grab a couple of lampshades for my office. And there's a few things that I thought I'd update you guys on. So that will all be coming. But I've just been downstairs and had some breakfast, Bradford kindly made me a bacon sandwich so i've just had that and i've also this morning had a delivery from moon pig and i have no idea who this is from so i'm going to sit down with you guys now and open that yeah otherwise today i've got a couple of work bits to do i need to film a video and take an instagram picture so i'm going to do that as well as just get my office sorted for when i do fully get back into like filming and working on all of my social media side of things so i'm just a lot more prepared really and i can go straight into it i'm sure this vlog by now is probably pretty long but i thought i would add this bit on to the end just so you guys can get like a proper Day. I'm gonna put my coffee down I'm gonna sit and open this with you guys now and then we will get on with today okay so like I said I have no idea who this is from and I've also never had a moon pig package that is this kind of shape usually if they're flowers they're like a long box that's so irrelevant but I'm gonna open this hopefully there's a little card inside so I can thank whoever has sent this over oh it is a little plant oh my god it's loads of plants wait I don't know who it's from Okay, I'm not sure how well you guys can see, but there's loads of little plants in here. I think they're for the garden, which is so cute, but I don't know who sent me this. I think I'm going to take it downstairs and take it outside so I can put the plants straight outside and then I can look for a card and see if I can find out who has sent these over. But cute, they're so pretty. I've just realised that while we're down there, actually, I can give you guys the little update on at the lounge, so I'll do that now. love nanny that is so cute so i just opened the box outside and there was a little card at the bottom and i've just figured out that they're from my nan which is so cute so nan if you're watching this if you've somehow managed to figure out how you watch these videos then thank you so much i'm gonna put them in the garden so i i'm probably gonna get right to do that because i haven't got a clue what i'm doing with the garden he's been on that this whole time so yeah they will go pride of place in our little garden sometime soon but whilst i'm in the lounge like i said to you guys i might as well give you a little update in here please just excuse that it's an absolute tip i need to just organize everything and give this whole room a good clean but while we're painting we've just literally like trashed the room and not got around to putting it back together okay so i feel like the color is really hard to pick up in this light so the color that is on this wall was the original color and this is where we've started painting it so obviously you can see a massive difference but i feel like when you just film like this it 
doesn't really look any different but this is kind of like a muted almost bluey gray color and then on the fireplace over here we have completely painted this now i think it needs one more coat just because in some places it looks a tiny bit patchy so we're going to go over it again especially at the top there i need to touch up that little bit but this was like a really dark mint green color and yeah it just had to go so the color that i chose for this room is jasmine white by dulux everything that i mentioned in all of the moving vlogs will always be linked down below in the description just in case you're interested i promise there will always be links but if there's not and there's something specific that you've seen then just leave a comment and i'll get back to you with a direct link but as you can see on this side of the room again obviously it's completely trashed and there is just paint and DIY stuff everywhere but this side is all completely painted so if you compare how kind of bright and like clean that all looks to this side where it just hasn't been painted I just think it looks a lot darker I mean on camera it doesn't look that bad at all but I feel like this doesn't really pick up the colors as true as they are in person so yeah I'm glad we started this and I'm really happy with the color itself I love what it looks like and I think I'm also going to put this color in my office okay so I think I mentioned to you guys earlier but we went to home base yesterday and I managed to pick up some lampshades for my office now these are probably not going to be to everyone's taste and i'm still not sure on them but i just wanted something fun in there like there's two pendant lights in almost every single room which we're not really sure why because it's a little bit unnecessary i mean in the lounge it's great because this is quite a big room and you do kind of need two lights in here so up here on this one i've just put the ikea lampshade that we had in our old bedroom in the old house and we still have the pendant over there so i'm basically going to get this same lampshade and put that one over there so they kind of match and just like tie into the rest of the room so i'm going to do that for in here but it just also means that in every other room that there are two pendants we need to get two of the same lampshade so as soon as we walked into home base well actually i think these are from b and q yeah these ones are from b and q i saw this lampshade and i was like i need it i mean it's cute it's fluffy and i want it for my office so i grabbed these which are so hard to see what they are in the plastic packaging but i'm going to go upstairs and put these up now so you guys can see they're basically lampshades that are made out of complete feathers like they are so cute and i want to make that room look super girly because it is like my little space in the house and i just thought why not? I have so many cute ideas on Pinterest and these literally tie in perfectly. That is the first job that we're going to go and do. I'm going to put these up and then I think I last left this vlog off by saying that I was going to sort my makeup out and I actually ended up coming downstairs and cooking dinner and drinking half a bottle of wine. So yeah, that still is a job that needs to be done. So that is the second thing that we're going to do after I've put these up. But right now I'm just going to put you guys on a few time lapses and just get on with a load of jobs in my filming room and you guys can obviously see what I'm up to. Just Take it personal, I ain't lying. I ain't hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in, yeah. You got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG. If you got my number, don't add me. Cause baby, I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. I'm on hiatus. Mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus. Uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me. Taking time out. from quite far in the future now i am just coming on here to end off today's vlog i know this was a bit of a random one and i kind of just shoved a load of clips together so i do apologize if it was quite hard to follow but i hope it gave you an insight into what we've kind of been up to in the first week of moving into the house on the day that i'm filming this part i am in fact filming for the second moving vlog so that will be on its way to you guys very soon as well as the pinterest video i know a lot of you have been interested in that so i'm going to film that and get that live on my channel so you guys can see the visions that we have for all of the rooms but i hope you enjoyed today's video nevertheless if you want to keep up to date on all of the house stuff then make sure you hit subscribe down below if you haven't already but that being said i'm going to leave you guys to it so thank you so much for watching as always and i'll speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys Woo!